Welcome to today's vlog. Pretty excited here, guys. I am uh, taking Ashley's bike to get uh, an upgrade for her. But it's something she's been wanting to put on her bike for quite some time. But before I go, I've got some very exciting news. There are a few things in life that are just really special to me. A fresh pair of socks. Nothing in the world feels as good as a brand new fresh pair of socks right out of the wrapper. Although I'm giving Ashley a gift today, I get one too. Another thing that always gets my blood boiling. Not boiling, that'd be a bad thing. Uh, it gets my blood pumping. It gets me excited. Something as comfortable as a brand new pair of socks. It's a brand new helmet. Yes. I uh, have tried many different helmets. Some good ones out there, but the old, uh, or fairly new, I guess, Bell Bullet has been my helmet of choice for some time. I like the large field of view. I like the sleek retro design. I'm excited for it. I needed it. My old, <laughs> my old helmet was uh, pretty, pretty beat up, and I think it probably didn't wasn't holding its safety standards anymore. So now I've got myself a brand new Bell. And I'm telling you, so far, my favorite helmet for the road. Gonna have to get some stickers, get my Senna headset put into it, but um, I got a new lid. Unfortunately, Bell stopped making them in flat black, so I had to go gloss black, but I am digging the brown leather and suede interior. <sighs> I'm telling you, nothing, except maybe a pair of socks, is as nice as putting on a brand new helmet. Now, I'm not exactly sure what is going on with the weather here in Texas, but man, it is bloody cold. Even just the smell. It's the little things, man. I live inside those helmets for thousands, tens of thousands of miles at a time, and I'm telling you, can you, can you smell that? <laughs> it smells like fresh leather. Equivalent to probably like uh, that new car smell, you know? That new helmet smell. This is one of the reasons I love this helmet. You can see my mouth when I'm talking to people on bikes next to me. They can actually see my mouth move and read my lips a little bit if they can't hear me over the bikes. It's also super handy for eating and drinking for those quick road stops. That's one thing I like about having this open face. And then the field of view. I literally cannot see any piece of this helmet while I'm wearing it. From my eyes point of view, I'm not even wearing a helmet. <laughs> Now, to install this part, I'm gonna head over to Paris Harley-Davidson, put it up on a lift and work on it, since we're gonna be working on those floorboards. This way I won't have to be laying around on the ground, and it's always a good excuse to see my good friends at Paris Harley-Davidson. It's freezing out here, so I'm just going to uh, warp over there real quick. Catch you guys there in a second. And we have arrived here at Paris Harley-Davidson to get a look at this bike. And Man, is it cold out. Maybe I should have grabbed some gloves. 37 degrees, I think it is outside. Probably about that's about the temperature I should start wearing my gloves, I think. What are you doing? Fixing Scooter's mileage. Oh, uh, yeah, on his chart. Out there in the Warhorse. Mm hmm. Very good. He's been more than 20,000, I believe. <laughs> he's done a little bit more than 20,000. What is the number? 160? Yeah, about 160,000 he's done. That's it. That's it. I'm a paintbrush expert. Yeah, you are. Let me see what you're doing there. You've been working for an hour and a half. You don't have anything done on the screen. I <laughs> just sat down. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, dude. What's up? What's, What's up? What's up, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing real good. Adam. Frank. Frank, pleasure, yeah. man. Frank the Tank. Nice to meet you. Frank the Tank. What's going on, man? I came to a... I was actually vlogging your war horse. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's your channel? Frank the Tank Ortega. All right. Always man. plug. We'll plug you <laughs> How you doing, Dom? Good, how are you? And what's your name? Yeah. Ariana. And who's this? This is Tatiana. Tati. Say hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> it's a good looking bike. You were looking good on it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Try it, bro. I'm that's yeah. good, that's good. What are you riding on? Uh, the 2017 Road Glide. Oh, yeah. You like yeah. the Road Glide? Oh, yeah. I love it, man. And where are you from, it. man? I am from, originally? Yeah. Chihuahua, Mexico. Oh, nice. From where your dog's from. <laughs> That's right, that's right. And where are you living now? Uh, McKinney, Texas. McKinney, Texas. Uh-huh. Well, I think that's got your name all over it. I love that old school tank. You did a good job with it. Yeah. It's your Tomorrow. birthday? Tomorrow, Tomorrow is your birthday. How old? 26. 26. 26, man. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. I think Cody's going to update the mileage. Scooter's mileage was a little bit wrong over here. What do you got there, Cody? Well, it kind of is too small. But... Is it too small? And I don't know what font that is. There you go. 
That'd be fine, man. Yeah. Well, we sixty thousand. That'd be good. Yeah, we shorted it. Oh. One hundred forty thousand miles. Only yeah, only one hundred forty. Only one hundred forty. <laughs> There you go, Scooter. Yeah. Now we got your proper. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How's that road glide treating you? Great. Did you ride it in this morning? No. Why not? It's cold. <laughs> There's no shame in that. <laughs> So we're here in Paris Harley Davidson. We got some good light, a warm shop, and uh, all the tools we need to put on these new parts. But first, so these are the new pegs we're gonna put on. They're the Cyril 3D riding pegs. They're perfect for people that are a little bit shorter and don't want the riding pegs way up on the uh, engine guard. I still call them crash bars, so. Oh yeah. All right, let's start with the proper unboxing. The adjustable highway peg mounts. Very heavy duty. I uh, suspect these are gonna hold up well. Directions with good pictures, very important. So the deal is this, uh, sometimes when these highway pegs get up here, they get too far out there. These actually come right off underneath the floorboards and they sit right in this space here. It's uh, really a perfect uh, distance for somebody that's a little bit shorter. Essentially what this kit is gonna do is you see this brace to the uh, floorboard there? It's gonna replace that brace to that floorboard with this brace. Much more heavy duty. That's gonna go right in there, and then the pegs will bolt up the end. Do you think it's gonna work out all right, Paul? Oh, yes. Yeah, and we park? Perfect. All right. It's that light, it's paid for itself. Recharge. I ain't bought, yeah, I ain't bought no batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the batteries, how many times have you bought cheap Allen heads? Over the years, you'll buy over and over and over. Now, these are guaranteed for life. Right there, so blue point, right? Let, blue yeah. Point. So let me tear one up and they'll get me a brand new one. We got ourselves a tall one. No, he's a ratchet. My lord. Yeah, I don't want to break this. I'm running the bands build the dots table. Did you get it? Got it. Cody put the man hands on it. Okay, here you go. Now you gotta rip socket. Hey, I like your hat, by the way, Cody. Good looking hat. Yeah, Almighty. Let me put a little heat to this one here. That one's gonna come out too. Let's see what color. The blue Loctite. The blue. This is blue Loctite, Ken. It makes it stick. And stay. It doesn't come out. Well, blue's gonna be better with what he's doing. Red, you probably want to do on something you'll never take out ever again. I think the blue is pretty tough in itself. All right, so we'll put a little heat to that. Ah, <laughs> oh, that makes a big difference, Lil. That fixed it. Yeah. So there's a little trick for y'all. A uh, little heat on the old uh, Loctite. Liquefies it. So now we're just gonna replace these with this. Comes with lock washers, but we're gonna put a dab of blue Loctite on there too. I follow her a lot on the road. And ooh, and these, uh, these pieces are pretty heavy. I don't feel like running into it. So now you're gonna see this has teeth on it for adjusting. I don't know if you can see that in there. But this will adjust the height of her foot pegs, how high we want it for her. Just installing the foot peg. Lastly. Yeah, it's nice, right? Love it. Yeah. I like the feel of that ratchet. That's cool. All right, and those are some cool looking floor foot pegs too. A little coin in them. All right, so now we just repeat for this side. And uh, Ashley, you'll have yourself some highway pegs. Yeah, I think so. Can you really get this megan it up? I know, man. <laughs> 
Go ahead, grab a hold of that one. <laughs> uh, oh, he went in hot, hot though, man. He, 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 he all it six foot eleven of them. Yeah. 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 When you're not expecting it, it's kind of he said, my he way. Man. He said, "I, uh, you mowed your lawn with that on the hood of your lawn, where you said?" And it stayed on. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a Gary Queen designs. Probably wouldn't want me to say that. Gary Queen custom. OSC other side custom. Other side customs. And this is going on what a 2000 breakout. 18 breakout. Mm-hmm. What do you think? That's gonna be bad to the bone. Yes. Man, that man does some good work. He's good. For those of you that don't know, Gary Queen painted both of my bikes that I custom built with Cody for the veterans. Infidel and... And, and the trike. I'm not 5'11". <laughs> kind of so you should be able to put your foot on the, you on the floorboard and up on there, right? <laughs> like here? Yeah. Yeah. I like the feel. I mean, I really like the... This is a little too much for me, but I like this. Yeah, I think that's how she'll run it. Cool. I hope she likes them. Do they feel even? We were having a hard time seeing if they were even. They almost feel perfect, really. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, man, pull her off. Don't drop her. Whew. Oh, yeah. That is a good looking bike, man. Maybe she should keep it. She's going to like those pegs. Some of you may ask, why upgrade a motorcycle when she's thinking about selling it? Because it's a motorcycle, man. That's, that's what we do. We upgrade them. We build them. We make them ours. Scooter is doing good. And listen, I got a lot of people out there who keep asking me about doing a GoFundMe for Scooter. And I want to be really clear about something. Uh, you've seen this in my motorcycle accident and my other accidents time after time. We do not fundraise for ourselves. That's just not what we do. Uh, though I am very thankful for all of you out there who are suggesting that and wanting to get behind us on that. Please know that when we fundraise, we fundraise for ways to help and give back to the military. Um, and sometimes we get creative. We raised money and built motorcycles. We raised money and gave it to scholarships for children who've lost their parents in the military. We've raised money and gave it to organizations for PTSD research. Uh, but always around doing something for the military. Never just for us to get by on our daily, daily thing. At least not any type of GoFundMe type stuff. When you guys purchase our stuff or become sponsors and things like that, that helps us. So buying these hats, t-shirts, things like that, all that stuff does help us. But we won't be doing any GoFundMes for our own personal use. All right, big thank you to my friends out at Paris Harley Davidson for letting me use their shop. It made it much easier to do this transition for my girl. And uh, I can't wait to see what she thinks of those uh, foot pegs. Until the next vlog, uh, remember, we are not quitters. We are the Americans.